Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Happy Good morning. Tuesday. Thanks. Happy Tuesday. I'm visiting with Wendy this morning. We've actually been with, visiting for a while here <laughs> um, offline, but it's just fun to chat with her. You can see that she's in her boutique store. She's down south and I'm up north, so we're geographically as far away probably as we can get, but it's always fun to find that bond of small business ownership. And Wendy's just going to visit with us a little bit. Tell us about your store, the history of your business, and, um, and then we'll visit a little bit about the seven day Facebook challenge and the workshop and um, the progress you've been making in your business since you joined us. Well, absolutely. Um, I opened my business, um, basically short story. I've been in retail my entire life, 30 years. I graduated with a degree in fashion merchandising. I knew I wanted to be um, in retail. It was my passion as a 16 year old. I worked in a small very small mom and pop business and fell in love. So um, I'm in Enterprise, Alabama, as Sierra said, very south, uh, right on the border of Florida. Okay. Um, so about December, I woke up from my district manager job traveling all over the United States and said, I can't do this anymore. I need to connect with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis and help women um, find their true inner beauty and really enjoy shopping for themselves. So I decided I would on a whim, jump up and open a boutique. And that's what I did uh, with little fear. Um, ha ha. And um, you know, it's been an amazing experience. We opened in February. Um, of course, about six weeks after opening, we had Mr. COVID creep on into our neighborhood. So we had to close for about a month. Um, and that was when I found Sierra on, I guess on Facebook, I saw it. Um, and we all love our Facebook. Uh, and saw about the Facebook live challenge. And I said, well, my gosh, you know, I did, I've done a live in which I'd sold like $50. <laughs> and I thought, I've been retail my whole life, but there's something I'm missing. I need to learn more about how to do these Facebook lives. So I saw the Facebook live challenge and I said, what's it going to hurt me to sign up? I'm sitting at home doing nothing because yeah. my store was closed and it was phenomenal. Um, what I learned from it really wasn't so much about how to sell because I had that under control. It was yeah. the steps up and the preparation and truly following the guidelines and the workbook. It was like a perfect recipe for success. Um, I'm going to brag a minute and say that I won the challenge. Of yes. The so whoop, whoop, that was fun. Yeah. Got a little gift card as a, as a thank you. Um, that was super fun, but I followed the steps exactly as they were laid out in the plan. Yeah. And you did amazing. It was phenomenal. We ended up doing about $1,800 versus my $50. That's crazy. Like it's almost unbelievable, but it's really true. <laughs> like, I mean, that's as much as I could do in on a Saturday in my boutique, yeah. just to put that perspective for some people, because I'm in a small town. Um, and it was, it was nuts. I mean, just the amount of people that logged on and, and I feel like I'm super silly. I probably don't act that way right now, but on my lives, I'm like a goofball. You have fun. I'm me. I'm just me. I don't try to be someone I'm not. Um, I think the customers like to relate to you as a real person. And we just had a blast. I mean, honestly, there were a ton of learnings from it. I had way too many products. I did a lot of things wrong, but I did follow everything to a T except for having too many products. Yeah. <laughs> and it was amazing. And then we turned around a couple weeks later and did another live. And I think I did over a thousand on that one. So, and again, that was only showing 15 products. So it is definitely powerful to learn how you can pre-schedule your, um, your posts, things that will help you with your time management. Um, you think you don't have time to do all those steps. I promise you, if you sit down for an hour, you schedule everything out, you will absolutely reap the rewards of your planning time. And I always be planning was important in the retail business, obviously supervising multiple stores in multiple States, but it's a different type of planning than what I was right. accustomed to. Yeah. So, it really uh, was amazing and I'm thrilled that I did it. And although I was t telling Sierra, I have only done, I did just the one live at the beginning of the month because we're back open full time. Hallelujah. And, um, but I am planning my next one here for June and I plan to try to do them at least once a month because my customers still think they're fun. Yeah. Um, and I do actually mostly get local customers. I get a few that are living other places, but for the most part, I get my local customer and they still love to do the live. So it's a social I, event for them. They it's have fun. Social. Yeah, they don't have to get dressed to come see me. They can then just come pick up their stuff curbside or come in if they want. But uh, I will continue to do that and supplement the business with that because I do think it's still a very valuable piece of the business, even though we're open. Yeah, for sure. Having that extra cash flow, you can never go wrong. Oh, absolutely. And there's, you know, very little prep or labor, 
needed to get ready for one. So. Right, right. Yep. Yeah, and so um, with that, you also joined on into our boutique workshop. So last month, we worked on the vision challenge, understanding our customer. This month, we're working on the inventory challenge. Tell us what you're excited about with this challenge and just staying in the group. Like, why have you hung around? Yep. Well, um, as I mentioned to you guys earlier, you know how I'm, I'm a retail veteran. I mean, I feel like I know a ton about the business, but what I don't know a ton about is running a boutique. It's very different, right? It's I mean, a lot of the theories I understand from big retail merchandising, the customer experience side of it, the operational side are very similar, but I have never had to buy for my own store. I've never had to have a budget for my own store. And so very exciting. I knew, you know, with Sierra's background and what she could help me with and then joining other boutique owners, that have had all different types of tenure in their businesses. Some as new as me and some that have been around for 10 or 15 years. There's a really great mix in the group and I could learn from those people. You know, you never stop learning unless you choose to. So, you know, they say you stop learning, you stop growing. So um, I want to continue to learn and be the best boutique owner I can be. So this is, you know, for me, the challenge is this, this month is super exciting. That's what I'm most excited about is really building my budget out for my buying. Um, taking my inventory, really understanding what I have. I understand categories. I understand what's selling, but literally I said, let's go buy a bunch of things to open the store, you know, and there wasn't a set budget. So uh, three months in, it's time for a set budget before we go to market in August. And, um, and I'm really excited about that. But again, I, I enjoy learning from others and, and, and even hopefully teaching others things too, from my other side of the background of retail that I have. Yep. That's what I love about this community. I really do feel it is a give and take amongst, like you said, there's people that are brand new. And sometimes we need to learn from that energy because as we're, the longer we're in business, things get, start to get mundane. So it's nice to learn from that new energy. And it's also nice to learn from people who have been there and done that. Um, you know, corporate retail backgrounds. I mean, just all of that. And I would say that the ladies that are involved in this community are very interested in sharing with each other and growing together. So yeah. I think it's going to be a really awesome month as we all dig into our buying budgets. What we find out about the way that we operate our different businesses is going to be pretty cool. It's exciting. And like I said, I'm, I'm very used to having a large audience around me of my peers, my you know, fellow DMs, regionals. So it's, it's kind of feels like that again. Like I yeah. have, you have other community. I'm not just in this town running one boutique by myself. Although that is the reality. I feel like I have, yes, that community that surrounds me still. And I, and I need that. It's that, that pushes me to be stronger. It pushes me not to become complacent. Yeah. Uh, try new things. So I, I feel very, um, very appreciative to have had yeah. found this community. And I think it is well worth uh, what you put. You, you've got to put things back into you. You know, remember that's a business investment and you're investing in yourself. So, you know, that hundred bucks or whatever it ends up being a month is well worth it. And you're going to pay yourself back for that. Absolutely. Probably, yeah. Probably 10 times. So probably, you know. yeah. If you can go from $50 to a thousand, there you, um, you, you pay your investment back pretty quick. Yeah. So, oh, I love it. So what would be one word of encouragement maybe to someone who's kind of thinking about signing up? I know people have had bad experiences with coaching, with group coaching. You always think like, am I even going to be heard? You know, it, like I said, is it worth the investment? What would be something that you would say just to encourage them to give it a try? Well, one thing I like in Sierra says it in, all, in, in every session that I've been on is we're not a, there's no judging. There's no dumb questions. Um, if you're moving faster than someone else or you're moving slower than someone else, there is no judgment of you. Um, you know, Sierra responds immediately to emails to, she always answers every comment in the group. So again, I think that, you know, she, she's not, I'm sure, yeah, it's her business. I'm sure she'd love to make some money. That's why she's doing it. Right. End result. Sure. She's got to pay her bills, but what I can say is she has a vested interest in everyone in the group and she, you can clearly see that cut through in, in just how she involves herself with each person and how she takes the time to make the follow-up comments. And like I said, I think that what is it going to hurt you one month to try it? You right. know, one month you will be able to tell if this is for you or if it's not, and you will be able to understand what you want to work on. Um, but I, I think again, it's, it, there's a lot of genuine um, care and concern coming from the group, but specifically from Sierra, she you know, is very thoughtful about setting up time. She'll set up one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with you, um, whatever you need. It's kind of like from here to here, you know, whatever you need, um, she's always been available. So I just think that, again, you would, if you don't try it, you'll never know what you lost out on. 
So very true. Yep. And Take try it one up. month. It's cancel anytime. I'm not again, like there's no pressure. If people don't fit, I don't want them to ever feel stuck. So give it a try. I'm sure just with the budget that you create, you can find at least yeah. either save a hundred dollars somewhere where you went up or find a place yeah. where you can make more. That's the goal with us. So yeah, yeah. we get started this morning as our first yeah. call, um, but they're recorded. So if you can't make it or if you sign up this afternoon, you will not miss out. Um, and then we have our private Facebook group where we all connect every week. I'll be doing whiteboard sessions. We have a workbook. So we're going to dig in and get to work this morning at 9 a.m. Central. And then we're just going to, we're going to have a blast this month. It's going to be hard work again, but well worth it. <laughs> I do. I will say I love that about the recorder because I am a, a bit of a one man show in my boutique. So there's a lot of times there may be a session that I can't attend, but I can watch the replay. And so that's a huge win for me. Um, I like to be live. It's much more fun because you can get a little more involved, but it is nice to know they're recorded. So I would say that's also a bonus. Don't think, oh, I'm going to miss all these sessions right. because they're all recorded. Yeah, everything's recorded. And this month, our hot seat, we opened one. Um, it's going to be in the evenings because I know that there's a lot of ladies that are either working in their store or they have a full-time day job. And so there will be opportunity for one-on-one -on -one coaching in the evening. So we opened that up this month. So that's another benefit. Well, Yay. thanks, Wendy. Thanks for You're joining welcome. with me. I'll see you in a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in a couple minutes and thanks everyone for joining us. Um, I'll put the link to sign up. Today's the last day. So I'll put the link up above and then also in the comments below. All right. We'll see you guys all later. Bye.